Oh, some terms, terms associated to punk music. Fast, violent, stage dives, dirty, alcohol. Oh, on that matter, um, straight edge, which is drug free, drug free, alcohol free, promiscuous, sex free. Um, started in punk music, and uh, it's a big part of why I listen to punk music too. I mean, if you're gonna if you're gonna accept me for uh, not doing drugs, thanks. <laughs> well, I listen to hardcore punk because I love the underlying message that it gives. Well, some some of the music, because not all of it is what it is, what it appears to be. The hardcore punk music from the past had a generic sound and a really fast, upbeat genre, and now it's sort of evolved into whatever it wants to be. It could be mixed with emo. It could be mixed with drone slow slow music but it's still hardcore punk and that's what I like about it be wherever you want on a daily basis I wear uniform because I go to HMSA on a weekend basis I don't really it doesn't really matter what I wear I don't care it's what costs the least and fits right in regards to how punks dress they usually dress in uh, sleeveless denim shirts studded with patches and little designs and really really tight jeans but uh, I'm not down for that stuff I think it's kind of mature it's trying to make a statement with those clothing but I'm not in to make a statement I'm into it I'm in the music for what it is not for who will make me no the reason why the reason why they don't look at me differently is because I don't stand out and say hey look at me because I don't dress that way. I mean, usually it's those little immature kids with a little vest and little studs and little patches that say, treat me differently, please, treat me differently. Because I'm a punk, please. I'm, I'm ignorant, I do ignorant stuff, you know? I'm not afraid to go, go jump off that little ledge, you know? Got my little studded vest. And you're gonna look at me and be like, that kid's stupid before I jump off the ledge because why? because my jeans are too tight so I just don't try to stick it out there in regards to being treated different for being straight edge it hasn't happened to me but it's bound to happen to someone or even me maybe when I get older but I don't think it's gonna happen because no one's going to force you to do drugs because the economy is in a really bad time so I don't think anyone's gonna say hey smoke my weed it works for that weed <laughs> the most common symbol that I use to represent my subculture would be marking X's on my the back of my hands at shows to represent that uh, I'm part of the straight edge group of punks that are there present to show that uh, I don't want none of that, none of that dirt, you know? But I don't get violent. There's some really violent straight edge people. Really, really violent. Like, they'll beat you up if you're smoking a blunt in front of their face. But it's cool. Just don't blow it in my face. Uh, 
thank you for having me, McLovin. From Pop 2012.